Hey everybody, this is Parksy here. I wanted to go ahead and try out this uh, virtual lesson thing uh, because uh, I think it's going to be the uh, future, at least for a couple of months. Um, and since uh, all of us musicians have basically uh, lost tons of money um, over the next couple of months, we uh, have to be a little creative within these limitations. So anyways, uh, I feel like a good place to start is to uh, pick something obvious. The obvious thing that comes to mind for me is uh, stick control. So uh, page 24 here has some nice little short rolls in 6-8. Uh, let's take, let's just take number one. So the concept here is uh, pretty straightforward and pretty obvious. Um, basically, start by doing the exercise. Um, after that, uh, you know, just do it literally, how it is. Um, put the uh, hi-hat on two and four, bass drum on all four or whatever, or don't do any of that. Uh, but just start by just doing it and do it around the kit. So literally just do it around the kit, do it 20 times like the book says. Um, you can just work on all the tempos if you want. Uh, the next step though would be to, uh, to really get the creativity going is to then instead of uh, doing just right left right left with your with your hands take the right hand and then the right foot and make the right foot the left then take the uh and do that 20 times and then take the uh left hand and make that the like right hand and uh uh keep your right foot to be like the left and do that 20 times. Um, and and uh, you can start going around the kit with this. Like, it doesn't have to just be on the snare and the bass or the ride and the bass or whatever. Um, after you do that, uh, replace the right foot with the left foot and do the same things. So, you know, your right hand and your left foot and your left hand and your left foot. And then once you do that, start... Uh, uh, incorporating uh, multiple uh, things at the same time. So maybe hands and right foot, and uh, hands and left foot. And then, of course, hands and both feet. Um, and, uh, and, and just start going around the kit and seeing what you could come up with. Uh, basically, uh, go around the toms, go around, uh, try to get if you're trying to master a certain sound, like, you know, a cross stick or, or maybe the stick on stick on snare or whatever, um, you might want to try exploring all of those boundaries, you know? So, uh, anyways, I'll do, I'll do some examples here of, of each thing. Um, and I'll do it, do them at like several tempos. After that, after you do them 20 times, the next step would be to actually incorporate these, uh, things that you find into a groove. Um, and, uh, and basically, you know, the whole point of this is to find, your own licks within this rhythm and within the sticking um, to find uh, some what you know just the cool things that you can get out of this uh, kind of limitation. So, anyways, um, let's let's check them out.
Of course, these are just a few ways to apply this idea. Uh, the main, the main uh, concept that I wanted to get out of this is that stick control isn't just for the hands and the snare drum, it's for the kit and also the feet too. So if you uh, uh, really uh, dig in there and uh, really get um, the, the concept, you'll be able to come up with your own licks and your own vocabulary um, for even just one of these many rhythms and stickings. Uh, anyways, um, peace out. And uh, if you like this um, and you got something out of it, uh, just consider uh, uh, Venmoing me or uh, subscribing at the very least. Um, and uh, I'll put all that in the... Um, the description. All right. Till till next time, y'all.